عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم باك وذي نيو لكشار إن أكريديت لابوراتوري and how to draw control chart As we know that there are quality control samples that shall be run with every sequence or every batch of samples to ensure the validity of results and to ensure that your results are accurate and reliable and these quality control samples explained before in a previous lecture I will keep the link of this lecture down in this video and we have also another type of method control and to ensure the validity of results which is control chart and as mentioned in ISO IEC 17025 to that 2017 that there are some quality control samples shall be used to ensure the validity of results one of these quality control samples or materials is control chart in 2005 edition was not mentioned in the ISO to do control chart but because of its importance to monitor the method the stability of method over a period of time so every lab was accredited also according to ISO 17025 2005 edition has this control chart but now in 2017 edition you have to do control chart to monitor or to ensure the validity of your results under process requirement 7 there is 77 ensuring the validity of results under that you should use to ensure the validity of results you shall use quality control samples a use of reference material or quality control materials under that use of check or working standard with control chart so you have to prepare your control chart to monitor the stability of your method over a period of time Control chart is a graph drawn using statistical excel sheet. You will prepare an excel sheet to draw this graph. And this graph will enable the analyst to examine how a method changes over time and to monitor the stability of this method over a period of time. Not only, only for one working day, but for a period of time. As you know that to assess the efficiency of method for one working day, you have to run spike sample. To assess the efficiency of your method, you will use spike sample. And from this spike sample, you will calculate the recovery. And this recovery should be within acceptable range according to the guidelines used. As example, from 70 up to 120%. Every day, you will assess the efficiency of your method. But control chart to assess the efficiency of your method over a period of time, not only for one working day. The sample used to draw the control chart is the spike sample. The spike sample, for every target analytes, you will select a specific concentration to be spiked on your matrix, and then will be run every sequence to assess the efficiency of method to analyze these target analytes. The recovery calculated from these spike samples every day will be taken daily to draw the control chart. There are many types of control chart, but X-bar control chart is the most common control chart used in accredited laboratory. I will explain this X-bar control chart in this lecture. You will run every sequence, you will run spike sample, and you will calculate the recovery for 10 days. After 10 days, you will calculate the average between all of these recoveries and you will calculate the standard deviation. The average will be on this line, which is x bar. x bar plus 2 standard deviation will give you the upper warning limit. x bar plus 3 standard deviation will give you the upper control limit or upper action limit. x bar minus 2 standard deviation, lower warning limit. x bar minus 3 standard deviation lower control or lower action limit. After you will draw the control chart, you will again calculate the recovery for every spike sample every day. Then this recovery will be added on the control chart as a point here or there. But you have some out of control limits or out of control points. In case of these out of control limits, you have to stop the analysis and take corrective action. If you have one point out of control limit, you will stop the analysis. If you have two points out of three, two points out of three, out of warning limit, out of, this is the warning limit. If you have seven points increasing or decreasing 
in increasing or decreasing order, you will stop the analysis. If you have 10 points on one side of the central line, on one side of the central line, like this, you will stop the analysis and take corrective action. Corrective action, you will repeat the analysis again. If you, if you have the same problem, then you, you, you should find what is, the, what is your problem and solve. As we see here in this control chart, I prepared this control chart to analyze chloromphenicol as example in the matrix only. And this is the chart I prepared. And th these are the dates you will analyze for 10 days. You want to spike 20 PBB on this matrix. And this is the result you will get as example 10, 19, 17, 20, 21, 22, 10. Then you will calculate the recovery for every one, every spike equal to the practical concentration you got on the instrument divided by the expected concentration. The recovery should be within acceptable limit, as example, from 70 up to 120%. If you got any one of them, like here, as example, 50%, this is not acceptable. You should go the acceptable limit, all of them with the acceptable limit. Then you will calculate the average, average between all of these recoveries. And standard deviation for them. And two standard deviation equal to two standard deviation. And three times two standard deviation. Then upper control limit, upper control limit equal to average plus three standard deviation. And here is average upper warning limit equal to average plus two standard deviation lower control limit equal to average plus three standard minus sorry minus three standard deviation lower warning limit equal to average minus two standard deviation here you will add these values again to dollar sign here in k three upper control limit k dollar sign three number three we we'll select that cell here equal to dollar sign okay here four dollar sign four average equal to dollar sign average here in H Lower warning limit K six lower sign lower control limit lower control limit Five. 
you to do. That will be for all of your results after that. You will find we add all points here. We draw our control chart using these limits, upper control limit, upper warning limit, and average and lower. Here, as we see here in this control chart, you will find the average, upper warning limit, upper control limit, lower warning limit, lower control limit. These points that we calculate the recovery for 10 days, up to 10. And then if you add any other point here, after 10 days, 10, 17, 16, what about points 23, 24, 20, whatever points you add, it will be added here also. If you have any point out of control limit like 30, for example, this point will be out of control limit, will stop the analysis and take corrective action. Also, if you have two points out of warning limit, two points out of three out of warning limit as here, you will stop the analysis. If you have on one side of central line, one side, 10 points on one side of central line, here or here, you will stop the analysis and take action. If you have seven points increasing or, on, or decreasing on this control chart, you will stop the analysis also. So this point should not be like this, should not be out of control. If you want to adjust the shape of this here, you can select here, select data. You will select the data that you want to add. Select the data. You can format the X, you can make the shape different. The shape changes, can much better. Here is your average, upper warning, upper control, lower warning, lower control. That was the control chart and how to draw the control chart, export control chart. If you have any question for that lecture, you can leave that question in a comment or you can send message. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you. See you in the next lecture, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.